Hello, people's YouTube. My name is Shushin Nose Rambo, and God, the only thing I could say is, well, damn it, Robert Kirkman. And yeah, I know, I bet a lot of you guys are like, oh, well, what, what, what's up with Robert Kirkman? What did he do? Well, I can tell you what he did. Ugh, God. Well, if you guys remember, Noah. Noah died. I don't mean to put it out all, like, sad and everything, and but... Here's the thing, I cried tonight, and when Papa Rambo cries, it takes a lot. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I didn't cry when Tyrese died, even though I thought I should, because I love Tyrese, He's, he was an awesome, lovable, teddy bear-like character, and I don't know why I didn't cry during Beth's death, I mean, that was sad, and I really liked Beth, but... The guy from the 8 Mile ripoff and Everyone Hates Chris just got murdered on Walking Dead and we just had to watch him get torn apart as America watched in horror as their favorite lollipop salesman got murdered. Oh, God. It was really sad. Also, Aiden's death was kind of sad and I felt bad for him. And I learned that the guy actually took a... Uh, well, all of America learned that that guy took a break off of his honeymoon to do that role so I feel bad for his wife she's like oh you get your guts torn out that's disgusting but you know hopefully Tara doesn't die hopefully uh you know I'm still I'm starting to get sad about Daryl hopefully Daryl doesn't die if Daryl dies season five is officially the season that I will hate because season three was originally the season that I would hate now first of all I thought season five was gonna be something I enjoy you know all the characters are gonna be all badass it's gonna be cool you know, there's going to be a lot of action in it. I was wrong. There was a lot of action in it, but then Bob died, then Beth died, then Tyrese died, then Noah just died tonight, and made half of America watch as the dude literally got torn to shreds. And now I feel bad for Deanna because she lost her, own, her other son. She has another son. But if you guys remember the comic books, if you guys read comic books, then... Noah was special. And why was that? Because his death made me cry. I have a friend coming tomorrow, and I mean, Noah kind of reminded me of him, and it's kind of like I just watched my best friend get murdered on screen. It's just, it's it would be sad to watch, and I felt like Glenn in that moment when he's just like, no, why? It's just, it was one of those why moments. Why him out of everyone else you could have killed off? Why'd you kill off Nicholas, man? He was freaking stupid. He should have just let him get killed off. God. It's also Tara nearly died. And it was such a sad episode, man. We saw him bond with the Deanna husband, dude. He was gonna do so much. He was like in Six, seven episodes. I'm so pissed off right now. God. And I'm mad. Like, I'm seriously pissed off right now. I don't know why. He made me cry, dude. It's like you just watched all your friends just get murdered on screen. It's... <sighs> it's like if you watched Eddie Murphy die, man. It's like when Robin Williams died, it was sad. When you heard Leonard Nimoy died, then you felt it. But when you watch a dude get torn apart... On TV. I'm beyond freaking upset. God. And well, I don't know about Daryl, dude. But, I mean, Daryl, we're going to see a little bit more of Daryl. And we saw another scene with Carl in it. With that girl he's hanging out with. I don't freaking know what you're going to do. But, you know, actually that, that might be cool to see what Carl does. You know, Carl hasn't had a girlfriend yet. Maybe except for freaking Sophia, who also died. What the frick, people? They're like killing off little girls. One of my friends pointed that out, and I'm like, no, that's right. You know, hide your kids, man. You know, that series loves killing off children, so I would not be want to be one of those children on that series. So, ha, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, maybe Sam might get killed off next, you know? You know, the kid that Carol keeps scaring off with her cookie shit? So, um... Uh, the cookie monster, you know? Jeez. I cried tonight. That's that's rare. I'm just gonna say right now, uh, first of all, I am a huge fan of Tyler James Williams. I love Everyone Hates Chris, first of all. I love Everyone Hates Chris. That was one of my favorite series when I was a kid. 
rather than Sweet Life on Zack and Cody. I love that guy. He's amazing. When I saw the 8 Mile rip off, I mean, I still liked him. I mean, I didn't really appreciate they ripped it off, but I still liked him. I mean, he's still a really good actor, in my opinion. I think he did really good. And now I can't even watch Let It Shine. You're just like, you just saw this guy get ripped apart on screen. It's going to be hard making me watch uh, Ty uh, Tyler James Williams on screen again. God damn, man. I mean, jeez, you just saw a freaking dude get torn apart on TV and you just, that look on his face. That, that just, that look just like it's over and then he just, like, he got bitten. Oh, God. You just call me, you can call me overly attached, you can call me anything, but in that moment, it was like Armageddon all over again. It's just like, oh, my God. He's just, it was, also, I was waiting for the Titanic jokes. If you remember, he said, let, don't let go. I was waiting for the Titanic jokes. One of my friends made that, so that was kind of funny. But still, that was like Armageddon plus freaking Billy Flynn getting beaten up. He won the fight, and then he died. That's what it felt like. It was like a mixture of that. It was a mixture of the champ, the freaking old yeller. It was, it was bad. It was, I'm just gonna say right now, it was just, oh my god, dude. It was just, dude. I, it was, it was like you just saw Kevin Hart get murdered on The Walking Dead and you can't do anything about it. It was just really sad. It's like every lovable character you can think of getting murdered. It's like, it's like Tyrese, when Tyrese died. I thought that would be the end of it. No! Apparently Robert Kirkman has one of those sick minds that he just can't kill off everybody. Yeah. Me and mom are actually recuperating because I watch it with my mom all the time. My uncle's probably going to call me over, like, if I, he's going to, like, make fun of me because I actually cried to this episode. But, dude, it felt like Armageddon and the champ, dude. It's, dude, you will not believe it. It felt like that. It's just, it's like your heart just spat out in front of you. You just got smacked. And it was bad. So, ugh, I can, can't even describe it anymore. It's just... But any, uh, then again, the episode was good, and I really liked it, but it's probably going to be an episode that will give me nightmares for some time. And, oh, jeez. That was... I can't, I can't grasp it, man. It's, it, was, it was like Tyrese and Bob and Beth all getting killed again. It... That's how sad it was. It was Armageddon... I, I'm just going to say this again. It was like Armageddon just happened again in front of you. It's like Tyler James Williams just stood in front of that screen telling his daughter he loved her, and then he kind of just went off and set off the bomb, and it exploded and it obliterated him. That's what it felt like. It felt like a mixture. So, I don't know. It, it, it felt really bad. And I just got a victory. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to be over for now. God, don't make fun of me. Please, I'm suffering right now. I'm... I just watched Everyone Hates Chris get torn apart, dude. Please don't make fun of me. That was that was a sad death. I, I just, ugh. Goodbye, Tyler James Williams. If you ever watch this, man, I, I love Everyone Hates Chris, dude. I love you, Chris, man. I, I'm, I'm the only one who doesn't hate you. And as well as other viewers who love that series. We love you, Chris. And we also known as Noah. Also known as uh, Truth from that 8 Mile ripoff. I'm sorry I called it that. And now I regret calling him that. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. And if uh, Tyler James Williams ever watches this video, goodbye, man. You had a good run while you were in while you were there. Didn't have much of a chance, dude. You made me cry. You just know that meant a lot to me. Just smacked the heart. Anyways.